All right, guys, welcome back to the channel today. Today we are going to be using the 718, the Tiger Cat rubber tire cutter, wheel cutter, drive to tree, buncher, whatever you want to call it. Uh, as I've stated before, for those of you that watch from other parts of the world, this is your most common cutter that you're going to find in the Southeast United States, mainly because our pay rates suck and the ground's flat and it's the cheapest thing you can operate for a cutting machine. Uh, we have both. We run this one kind of as a helper. Uh, we primarily cut with the track cutter because our ground stays so wet. That's why we have those street pads, as a few of y'all have called them on there. They're wide and flat and triple grousers. Uh, you know, really shallow. Nothing like those big, cool, look like dozer cleats on one. But anyway, so today we're going to be taking the 718 and we're going to be starting a new track of first thinning and we are going to be cutting our set out. Our landing area, our ramp, uh, the deck, however you would like to refer to it. Whatever makes you comfortable in the part of the world that you are from. Uh, I call it a set. So I'm going to be banking my set uh, with this and the guys are going getting some more of the equipment. They're actually waiting on me right now to get this cut out. So there's like 60 acres of first thinning here hopefully it's going to be a little over two weeks worth of wood uh what i've walked through so far we got good ground great roads great access for uh in case it does rain we continue to work through the rain and we also have which is great and uh the timber is not bad i mean it's not like man type timber but for first thinning in our area on good ground really good it's actually really really good and it's planted exceptionally well and that's going to help make things flow a hundred times better and it don't seem to have quite the volume of bushes that the other track of first thing we was working had so anyway we're fixing to throw y'all up over here and we're going to watch this thing mow this big old set out it's going to be roughly roughly a hundred feet wide and about 100 feet deep on the deep end and then I kind of taper it off so on the short end it's probably only like 50 feet deep on the short end uh, where we're not going to be utilizing and we are going to set both loaders up in this Mickey will be set up over here kind of where he'll actually be set up where that where is that there it is that piece of pink flagging right right there that piece of pink flagging is where Mickey is going to set that means the delimitator will be just on the other side of the flagging and Matt will set somewhere about right here just straight out in the woods so anyway y'all get ready we fixing to mow some trees down son
pretty good, I reckon. It, uh, I don't know how well I got to see everything, but y'all got a, a good idea what we had going here. Saw the cutter. Uh, you, it covers ground a lot faster than a track machine, but that machine also has a smaller bunching head on it. So you're having to make more uh, returns to your dump location where you're going to be building your pile, your drag. So that, that slows you down some with it. And there's just where a track cutter is just, it's, it's reach and cut and reach and cut and reach. This thing's cut and wiggle and cut and wiggle and cut and wiggle. It's just uh, right application, most especially in a clear cut, that could possibly prove to cut more timber than a track machine. But the track cutter will also produce you more wood in a first thinning for sure second thinning they're kind of a toss-up depending on kind of your operator and how thick the timber is and stuff like that uh, first thinning though where it's got a lot of volume to work with a track cutter will outcut a rubber tire cutter usually most times two to one unless you have a poor operator but uh, so yeah hope y'all enjoyed that make sure y'all go down below find the comment section go leave me a comment tell me what you thought about it tell me uh, if you prefer watching this machine or you prefer watching the track cutter. I know y'all get a whole bunch of the track cutter videos because that's what I'm mainly on. But uh, y'all go down below. Let me know that. We have shirts for sale in the description down below. The very first link. You click on it. Take it to the Shopify store. And you can buy a t-shirt. Uh, we're starting to kind of get on limited uh, availability. We have a lot of larges and I think extra larges still. The, the bigger sizes. And the smaller sizes, we're kind of running tight on. But anyway, y'all go check it out if y'all want a shirt. It would help me out a bunch. I certainly appreciate it. So I appreciate you watching and all the views and everybody that's here every day watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure y'all go subscribe if you're not already. If, you, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. This is what you're going to see mostly here is, is logging content. Um, got some stuff coming up we're fixing to start introducing some new stuff so anyway guys thank y'all so much and until the next video we'll catch y'all next time